I am Mike Stanton. It's March 17th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with David Yun from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thanks for being here today and happy St. Patrick's Day. So a uh, very volatile week in the markets. Uh, we saw the reemergence of a flight to quality trade, something we really haven't seen for months as the uh, uh, main focus of investors have been on inflation. Uh, what was driving that and how did munis respond? Yeah, well, you know, if you're uh, watching the news or uh, you're reading about it, um, the Silicon Valley Bank obviously um, really took over and, uh, you know, it's the collapse and um, kind of the, the bank run, um, so to speak, is what caused kind of this bank contagion. Um, you know, the government, uh, I would say, you know, came in very swiftly and fast and um, provided support to the bank. And, um, you know, we're actually seeing some of the uh, uh, implications of that bank run, um, you know, on other banks. Uh, I think First Republic is one that probably comes to mind for most. Uh, and I believe yesterday it was, but we had about 11 uh, other banks, um, you know, come in and pledge uh, deposits to help out for First Republic. So we're really seeing a lot of, um, you know, kind of support, not only from uh, U.S. regulators, but also uh, U.S. banks themselves. Um, so, you know, with all that noise, the flight, uh, the flight to quality trade was really um, something that came into play this week and even at the end of last week. So when we look at the treasuries, we see the two-year rallied another 60 basis points. Um, the 10-year rallied another 30 and the 30-year rallied another eight. Um, so uh, when we see that type of move in the, in the short end of the curve, um, you know, one has to question, you know, the, the Fed finally break something, right? So uh, we do have the flight to quality trade, but we also just have to wonder, did the Fed do too much? Um, it will be very interesting because obviously next week we have the Fed meeting. Um, we actually just saw the ECB raise 50 basis points, um, you know, despite, you know, some noise going on over there. So uh, obviously the main goal globally is to still fight inflation. Um, and speaking of, we got some economic data this week. Uh, CPI actually came in as expected, um, month over month, it was over, uh, it was up about 0.4%, and year over year, it was up about 6%. Uh, and then we also had PPI numbers come out, so the producer prices actually came in cooler than expected. Um, month over month, it was actually down 0.1% um, versus expectations of increasing 0.3%. And year over year, it was up 4.6% versus expectations of 5.4%. So we are seeing um, you know, kind of certain, uh, you know, data points that are uh, kind of implying that the Fed is fighting the inflation, but um, nonetheless, you know, the numbers um, still, you know, are way above the 2% inflation target that the Fed, uh, you know, has a goal for. And interestingly, as we said, uh, the muni market held in pretty well. Uh, municipal bond ratios uh, only moved a little bit, despite the the fairly significant moves in treasuries. That's not always the case. Um, we saw very modest outflows for municipal bond mutual funds this week. Uh, you know, and, and typically in line with what you see seasonally, uh, there's always outflows at this time of year as people are getting ready to pay tax bills on April fifteenth. Um, so that was not a major driver for the market. Uh, the new issue market was still very uh, muted. Uh, the total supply was was uh, below the uh, year to date average. Any transactions instead to you? Yeah, um, like I mentioned, uh, supply came in about $7 billion this week, uh, kind of in line with uh, uh, the year-to-date average, but mainly concentrated in large high-grade deals. So the ones that did come to market this week were the ones that, um, you know, for investors' sake, uh, are probably the ones kind of safer to come to market. But in terms of BAM, um, here we had a pretty busy week, 14 transactions, $166 million of par. Um, the one to highlight, uh, 76 million Oxnard School District in California, that was priced by Raymond James. Um, and I'll kind of just go into next week. Uh, as I mentioned, um, you know, we do have the, the FOMC meeting coming up. Um, you know, we're seeing $4 billion on the calendar right now. Last time I checked, uh, it seems light and, you know, rightfully so going into kind of more volatility. Um, but... Uh, another transaction to highlight on our end next week is a $26 million Burlington uh, school district in Iowa, and that one will be with Piper. Very good. Well, thanks for your time today, David. We'll uh, wait and see what the Fed does next week. We'll talk to you soon.
All right. Thanks, Mike.